Happy Thursday everyone. Today we're getting back to those hot and dry conditions that we saw on Tuesday. Wednesday was a little interesting. We had a system move through. You can see it off to the north and to the east of us just a bit and brought a little bit of cloud cover, at least during the middle of the day. That cleared out. We saw more sunshine. We started to warm up, but not nearly what we saw on Tuesday and not nearly to what we're going to see today or tomorrow. We've got high pressure building in again, so the hottest day today and tomorrow. Not quite Tuesday though. Remember 101 degrees there, but still hottest Friday. We do have a cooler weekend on the way, and that's mainly because of low pressure building in once again off to the north of us. A whole nother system trying to push its way on in. Again, most of the potential for any showers, we're all the way down here, potential for any showers, storms, anything like that, probably staying off to the north. But we will add some cloud cover as this digs into the Pacific Northwest, moving from Canada just over the border into areas like Washington and northern Oregon. And it'll be just close enough to keep things a little bit cooler, bring us a slight chance of showers. And then we go into next week. Looks like we do start to clear things out just a bit. Now, as we look at the satellite radar, some thunderstorms passed on through the areas that it passed on through the day before. Tuesday, we had some storms in parts of Modoc County, a little bit of Lake County. Saw that last night as well. And today it looks like that's staying out of our area. Very stable conditions throughout the area. And that's why we're seeing some warmer temperatures today, with sunnier skies and a little bit less fog for the coast. And because of that, because of the hot temperatures, some areas 100 degrees or more, especially in Siskiyou County through 11 a.m. Thursday through 11 p.m. Friday, we do have a heat advisory out there because of the possibility of heat related illness, heat exhaustion, heat stroke, for example. Here's your pinpoint forecast. We'll go through the day today and very quickly after some clouds this morning, we'll clear things out. Here's Thursday afternoon and evening. Let's keep on going into Friday, Friday, eventually into Saturday and Saturday is where things get a little more interesting, especially towards Sunday and Monday. That's where we start to see a chance of some showers later Sunday into Monday, but Saturday we'll just add some cloud cover and we'll cool things down. Well, it should be overall a very nice weekend for the coast today. Cloudy, then sunny with some fog in the morning. Temperatures from the 60s to around 80 degrees for Brookings and Harbor, partly cloudy tonight and the West Valley mainly in the 90s today. Some areas getting close to the upper 90s. Let's say about 98, 99 for Montague and Wairika, and we're only going to be warmer tomorrow. And east of the Cascades, temperatures topping out in the 90s as well, but some 80s out there with plenty of sunshine and occasionally some breezy winds. For your seven-day forecast, it's today and tomorrow very hot temperatures, and then we're going to get away from that for a good part of the weekend. New system tries to move on in because of that. Could get a little breezy in the afternoon on Saturday. Chance of showers on Sunday. Not a great chance, but the potential is there. And then we go into Monday Tuesday, Wednesday, see right around average conditions as we head into next week should be nice. Checking out the Klamath Basin and essentially that's going to be the trend as well. Today, tomorrow, the hottest days over the next seven cool down for the weekend. A slight chance of showers on Sunday. Northern California also today, tomorrow on the hot side, cooling down into the 70s and 80s as we go into next week and out on the coast. This is going to be your best chance of showers. That'll be later Sunday into Monday. Until then, mostly sunny skies and warmer for Brookings and Harbor.